Hello, people of the internet, and welcome to the full review of the Lollipop update for the Huawei P7. Uh, about a week ago, I made a uh, short video of my first impressions and hands on of the Lollipop update for the Huawei P7. But here are my here is my full review of the update. Now, my first impressions were good, and after about one week of using it, my impressions are still mostly good. The first thing I want to mention and talk about is the performance throughout the UI it is. On KitKat it was to say the least terrible, it stuttered a lot, it froze, nah, not really, it didn't really froze, but it did stutter a lot and did drop a lot of frames and it really grinded my gears. But with the update uh, performance is almost flawless it still tends to drop a few frames but it's really good um, and the uh, notifications bar is really really good looking it used to be white it used to be ugly but it's really pretty now yeah. another thing i want to mention is the battery life on kitkat i was able to get an entire day without a charge but the entire day just I usually uh, unplug my phone from, from the charger around 8 a.m. and about 6, 7 p.m. Uh, it needed a charge. When I say normal use, I mean some Facebook, Instagram, maybe some games, taking up music, maybe a few, few pictures. Yeah, uh, it, it was okay. But uh, with the Lollipop update, battery, battery life. If uh, when using the battery life is pretty much the same, but the standby time is increased a lot. I, ha I do have to mention that, and yes, that does result in a longer battery life. Another problem I had with the uh, KitKat version was overheating. Now I know that overheating can't really be fixed throughout uh, software update. I mean, it can be slightly fixed. Yeah, that's mostly uh, hard to fault for the hardware. But with the Lollipop update, the phone does tend to run a bit core and it does not feel more throttle like it used to. And KitKat, and KitKat had used to feel more throttle like while gaming a lot. I didn't notice a lot of feel more throttling while gaming with the new update. Actually, I didn't notice any feel more throttling, but I'm not saying it won't happen. That's generally it, but there are so many small things that are improved. For example, one hand UI. All you have to do is swipe the navigation bar right and the screen will shrink to the right size. Or just swipe to the left and the screen the entire screen will shrink to the left side. Left side. The camera app is also improved. For example, image processing is a bit faster, not a lot and it gets really noticeable recording, but it is a bit improved. Uh, the UI is pretty much the same, although the biggest thing added is time lapse. I have tested it, and time lapse works brilliantly on this phone. Uh, the only thing to mention is that it will drain your battery fast and it will uh, make your phone run, get a bit hot. And it's only available in 720p. Only 720p. Other than that, everything regarding the camera is spot on, I have no issues, and it's really But there good. are a few bad things. For instance, the Facebook app. When using the Facebook app, most of the time the app will crash, the app, the app will freeze and crash, I have to force close it, and that, that does not sound like a big deal. But when it does that, it will make the whole phone go crazy. What what happened to me yesterday is the Google bar search bar was on the middle of the screen because of that bug or whatever, and it sometimes it doesn't even want to lock the phone. The phone completely freezes when using the Facebook app. Sometimes I did not receive that. I did receive one update, but made things worse. Same thing with Instagram and Nine Keg, but that only happened once or twice. But I think that will be fixed in the future update of the apps. Hello. 
Um, another thing that I really like is this, when you hold the power button, you get all these nice circles for your command, airplane, sound, restart and power up. Now, while on the topic of sound, when you want to lower or raise the volume, here's the thing, level 1, level 2, level 3, and that's pretty much it, it does not get any louder. The metal three uh, levels are, for me, for my hearing, exactly the same. No difference whatsoever. But that doesn't really bother me a lot. I mean, yeah, it doesn't bother me a lot. And also on volume, when my morning alarm is ringing, sometimes when I put it on snooze, it turns off the, uh, it lowers the volume of the alarm. So the only thing that to wake me to wake me up later is a vibration of the phone. And luckily I'm not a heavy sleeper. So yeah. So should you update to Lollipop? The answer is definitely yes. You should get it like now. Don't wait for the for the OTA update while I get the update now. You will not regret it regret it. If you don't mind a few stuttering maybe from the Facebook app or the uh, weird volume levels, you should definitely get the update. Now yeah. I'll leave a link for the download in the description. All you have to do is download it and create a deload folder on your phone. Then just open updater and hit local update and install the update. I had no issues with the update, it took about 20 minutes. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will be seeing ya. Oh, by the way, if you have down, uh, updated your phone, tell me in the comments, are you satisfied? What do you think? Is it working for you? Do, uh, do you have any problems or bugs or stuff? Definitely let me know in the comments below. And I will be seeing ya. Peace.